decided to build a new boat for up with, take to Oyster 56. Robert was assigned as our project manager. He's always been an avid sailor and was able to give us valuable advice while also managing the subcontractors involved in the construction process. The first step in construction is the superstructure. The hull is built from fiberglass which comprises fibrous matting and resin laid in huge moulds. This is a highly skilled but messy job. Bulkheads are built from marine ply and provide structural integrity to the hull. Very important when bashing through waves in a storm or encountering obstructions. The decks are also reinforced with lightweight balsa. This is going to be our deck. Fantastic. Look at the heads. I'm going to use it now. I need the loo actually. Do you? Yeah, well, just fall in there. <laughs> Stand in front. <laughs> Once completed, the hull was transported by road to Landamores in Roxham for fit out. Joinery was completed using state of the art machinery as well as traditional craftsmanship. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. So we're about 60% of the way through the construction now. So, what's really interesting for me about watching the build process is I get to see all the uh, innards of the boat so when I come to have to maintain things later on things like the wiring or uh, the ducting for, for uh, pipe work and stuff I'm able to find and locate that and stuff. Oh. Oh, wow, after how many years working on boats? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what the copper's for. That's for the lightning. What was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, if you're out right somewhere and you get a thunderstorm or something, that starts the book probably from blowing up, blowing up or catching fire or something. Oh, okay. We were impressed by the care and attention paid by all the craftsmen involved. They seem to love being part of the Oyster team and had genuine pride in their work. He's under me, um, and he's a very lucky boy because he gets the widest bunk on the boat. Oh, wow, don't you? I'm Charlotte. Oh, theirs is quite wide, but they have to share a cabin, don't they? Yeah, but there's. Yeah, but each half is bigger than this. I love talking to me! Do you like being on your new boat? It's the air compressor for the scuba. We're just trying to figure out where to locate it. Dad, I mean, that would. Depends on how much access you have. Stay Probably put a tank in there, didn't you? Back yep. We might screw a couple of straps back in that the tank. Yep. That's things like marvellous bits of engineering. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's been a fantastic. They look a lot better than the props over there. The props over there, they just do one one way. It's lovely. The sails and upholstery were made by specialist companies in Mersey. We visited both and discovered how sails are designed and made and learned that there is a lot more involved in upholstery than you would imagine. After a year and several thousand man hours of work, the boat was ready for the water and it was time to transport the yacht to Oyster's Yard in Ipswich. This was an exciting event for us and we followed her through winding country roads and along a motorway until she was safely delivered and launched.
Sheila. change as you know and then we had rude works at Ipswich but I gave them five minutes and uh, they still didn't turn up well I'd waited half an hour to an hour whatever give them another five minutes they still didn't turn up so I left them open and then they were coming the other way and they booned me up and they said you can't do that I said well you're on anyway <laughs> of two years of really hard work from everyone at Oyster. They built us an absolutely beautiful boat to go away around the world on. And today is launch day. Really exciting. And um, six months away from our leaving for our trip around the world, which is really Finally, the mast was stepped and the boat was ready for testing. Yeah. 